Hello and welcome to Australia in Space TV. My name's Chris Cubbage. I'm the executive editor with My Security Media. Jasmine Freudenberg, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Catalyst, Venture Catalyst Group. Yes. Uh, you help space companies uh, become sustainable businesses. Would yeah. that be about right? Yeah, so we take in early stage companies from idea stage, um, early customer validation, all the way up to sort of the seed and series A um, yeah, stage. Right. And yeah, we provide six months of an accelerator program support. So lots of different workshops, lots of one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions and um, all sort of accessing the university's resources. We're based in a university. Right. So uh, companies can come in, they can work from the university and they can access all of our amazing facilities there. So, nice. yeah. You're here in Adelaide? We are, yeah. yes, based at the University of South Australia. Great. Um, not very far from uh, Lot 14 and, yeah. the, and the centre of the, the space um, hub here. Where do you find companies not so much go wrong, but need the most help with because mm -hmm. we've we've started to talk to startups and yep. there's a bunch of startups uh, and then you've got the global multinationals mm -hmm. in the sector. Yep. Yeah. What do you find is most uh, sort of that ha ha moment mm. for them? I think it's really um, a lot of them are walking into this not knowing what they don't know, yep. and there's a lot of things that you need to know about running a business. Uh, yep. It's very different to doing research. It's very different to being an engineer, which a lot of them are, yeah. they start out being engineers. So it's um, there's a combination of things that could be the aha moment, but really it's around talking to customers, getting them to go out and actually un, um, find out where there is a specific need in the industry and how they can meet that need yeah. through their product or service. So some might go wrong by building something without validating, yes. and we really push on them talking to customers and working out where they're gonna fit in this whole sector. Now that's a, a interesting, because we were just talking to uh, someone on Earth Observation. Mm -hmm. So the industry is really looking for customers mm -hmm. uh, and you, you, you're right, they invent something and then yep. that's really interesting, how are we going to apply it? Yes. Do you, what's your observations within the space sector? Do you think mm. it's finding that balance now between sort of the, the industry into interdependencies, mm -hmm. uh, sort of agriculture, mining, and going to talk to them Yep. and then finding the, the solutions to their problems. Where do you, yeah, what could be I think it comes at both angles. So yeah. a lot of people are um, quite aware of what the problem is and they come into the program and they, they, they work with others to build a solution and some have got the solution there and they're looking for the customer. So right. yeah, there's a, there's a bit of an interplay between the two areas. Um, I think at this point, it all depends on how advanced the technology is as to when it can actually be fit for the market yeah. so it's all about timing yeah. <laughs> as all um, you know ventures are so we have a company that's doing hyperspectral imaging but they're putting some software onto new technology and that's becoming um, you know their unique value proposition that's something that get, they need to get to market first because yep. it's it's a technology that's out there but they've created a software component on top of that for analytic purposes. So nice. yeah, it's just combining different elements and then working out where they fit and how they can make money. <laughs> well, I suppose and the, sort of the final one is uh, any advice to companies who want to need to raise some money? Is there enough VC activity uh, in Australia or, or globally for space? Um, it is uh, a little bit trickier for the space industry, I guess, because it's a long-term game. Um, it's a hard, it's a harder pull than a software company. Yeah. Um, but in terms of advice, I mean, it's just keep talking to investors early, make, uh, build those relationships. Um, and expect that you'll probably need to rely on a little bit of grant funding, a little bit of collaboration and yeah. partnerships in the early stages um, before you can actually raise. Great. Yeah. And what's the call to action? Uh, where can people find you? Applications are open now. Um, nice. It's our ICC um, UniSA space and the program's Venture Catalyst space and applications are open until the 16th of November. Great. Jasmine, thanks for being on Australia in Space TV. Thank you very much.